When we provide patients who have failed an IVF cycle with a second opinion, we ask them to share their medical records with us. We are very disappointed when they don't have photos of their embryos and when we ask them why not, they get defensive and provide a number of justifications. The doctor never gave us any or I didn't even know that you could ask for embryo photos or that's not the practice in that particular clinic. They are the best and they don't give photos to any of their patients. Now, none of these are good answers. IVF patients need to do their homework prior to starting an IVF cycle because you cannot afford to leave everything up to the doctor. If you are lucky enough to find a good doctor who follows good global practices and provides photos routinely and proactively to all their patients, you'll be fine. But what happens if you end up in a bad IVF clinic? The tragedy is the number of bad clinics far outweighs the number of good ones. The reason these IVF doctors refuse to provide photos is because they know they are not capable of producing good quality embryos and they want to hide this fact from their patients. The loser in this situation is the patient and this can be an expensive error to make. When we suggest to patients that they should have been more proactive, they get upset. Isn't that the doctor's job? Why should a patient have to worry about all these technical details? We are not qualified to understand all this. Isn't that what we are paying the doctor for? Yes. In a perfect world, that would be true. But the reality is you can't assume that every doctor is competent. There is too much at stake for you to take shortcuts. Other patients say, the doctor didn't give us any photos but said it was a grade A embryo. Now just saying that it's a grade A embryo means nothing. After all, talk is cheap. This is why it's so important that embryo photographs be provided and in a good clinic, doctors take pride in producing good embryos and providing photographs as well because they want to share this documentation with their patients. It provides them with confidence that they've received high quality medical care. Now the fact that the patient did not get photos is a red flag and suggests that the care provided wasn't good. Some patients say, but the doctor showed us the embryo on the screen and we saw it was good. This is a red flag too. If he could show you the embryo on the screen, then why couldn't he take a photograph of the embryo and give that to you? After all, patients can't understand how to assess the quality of an embryo by seeing it for a few seconds on a computer monitor. And while it's true that we don't know how good or bad every IVF clinic is, a useful rule of thumb is to assume that if the IVF clinic doesn't provide photographs, it is not a good clinic.